I told you not to disturb me when I'm sketching these designs. Crystal, what are you doing in New York? I thought you'd flown back to Denver. Blake had business here. Hmm. Well, you're here to tell me that the Attorney General's office authorized a consent decree and that Blake got back Denver Carrington. I've already read the papers, thank you. And somehow gloating isn't your style. You're right. I'm not here to gloat. Oh, well then, perhaps you'd like to look at our new collection. We have some lovely things. Some of them might even fit you. I've come to talk to you about a brooch you bought of mine at the auction. Brooch. What brooch? Oh, that old thing. What about it? I'd like to buy it back from you. It's very special to me. Blake gave it to me. Oh, of course. It had some sloppy romantic sentiment engraved on the back to my darling Crystal. You knew that and you bought it? Well, of course I didn't know it. I only realized it when I went to put it on. But... But what? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Crystal. I can't give it back to you. You see, I gave it away. You what? To one of my maids. Well, I'm sure it was expensive, but admit it, it really did look like junk jewelry. <laughs> Poor Blake never did have much taste in jewels. How dare you, Alexis? That brooch meant a lot to me. It was very special to me. Aren't you woman enough to understand that? Oh, I'm very much a woman, Crystal. Next time you see Blake, just ask him about our early years together. Or has he had a slip of the tongue occasionally and let a few choice tidbits slip out? Is that what's bugging you? No, that's not what's bugging me. It's you. Excuse me. I have a husband to meet up with, a plane to catch, and a home to get back to. What are your plans? Then again, who gives a damn? <sighs> <sighs> 